Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So, I've got a parcel. It's just arrived, so I thought I would rush upstairs and we'll film it and see what we've got because I've got a funny feeling it may have some Christmas stuff in it. And yeah, I'm midway through getting all my Christmas stuff done. So, this has come to me from the good people at dpclubs.com. Um, I've worked with them a few times before and they asked if I would like some more products to show on my channel. I said, yes, of course. I've been very, very happy uh, with the last ones that I've received. So, of course, I'd love to get some more. So, let's get into it and see what we've got. Okay. So, we have, oh, ooh, a diamond painting. And, oh, another diamond painting. And, oh, a little package. We like little packages. And, oh, oh, a special drill project. Okay. So, yeah, there are lots of offers on uh, DP Clubs at the moment coming up to Christmas. Um, if you do get an order in now, they seem to be coming reasonably quickly to the UK. So you may even get them before Christmas. What are we now? Sort of the first week in December. So if you start, um, I don't know if they take 10 to 14 days, you should get them the week before Christmas. So you could still get them. Uh, as I say, it depends on your country. And obviously I can't guarantee. And particularly in the UK, we have got postal strikes. All these, the, these did arrive by courier. So... My courier started coming after tea, um, which is after sort of evening meal on an evening. And uh, yeah, it makes us jump out of our skins when somebody comes on late on a night. We don't usually expect anybody. Right. So anyway, that's just me waffling. Let's have a look at what we've got because there's some really pretty things. So this looks like a little special drill project. And oh, we've got a bit of cord in here as well. Okay, let's see what these are. Oh, oh, I've got, oh yes, it's some of that um, sort of gold cord with the gold thread running through it. So it's going to be something hanging. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh, they're fab. Okay, uh, we've got all our special drills there. Wonderful. Oh, and we've got some little grip seal bags as well. well they're always handy. Pen button wax to start you off and your little grip seal bags. Okay, but yeah, these are key rings or bag charms or whatever you want to do with them. It's a 10 piece hanging ornament arts and crafts 5D uh, drill cartoon Christmas decoration. So you can use them as Christmas decorations on your tree by uh, using your cord through them. Or as I say, you could use them as key rings. And as I've had in the past, I do like this idea that we're getting the ones now that are like the thick um plastic the like if you've laminated something um it's like a plastic coating over it so it's it's bendable but it's not too heavy which i think is a really good idea but yeah as soon as i saw these i thought i've got to have them they're actually uh, ice lollipops look so you've got your little lolly stick on it and then it's the little christmasy design so we've got a little santa's outfit there with on a lolly stick We've got, <laughs> that's fab, I love that one. We've got a little reindeer with his scarf on, whoops, that's uh, on his lolly stick. We've then got a, a snowman on a lolly stick. I do remember a long time ago, you used to be able to get a snowman, um, little ice cream on a stick. It was shaped as a snowman and it just had a couple of, I think it had a, a couple of eyes and a nose and then a couple of chocolate buttons on it or something really tiny little chocolate chip buttons uh, but yes yeah, so yeah i do like my ice creams and my ice lollies and then we've got a little a santa on a lolly stick santa's head he looks quite surprised doesn't he like, oh well i'm not surprised he's got a stick in his beard <laughs> and then we've got rudolph in a little sweet packet look with his nose just popping out oh that's great love that one Oh, look, a little penguin, and he's got a scarf on. Oh, and he's got earmuffs on as well. <laughs> a penguin with earmuffs on. Oh, that's fabulous. I love that. And then we've got a little a Christmas tree. Okay. Oh, that looks nice. That's uh, 
Uh, lots of different colours on that one. Oh, and then we've got a little Shiba Inu dog, a Japanese Shiba Inu. Very, very sweet, these. They're like a, a husky type dog, but a lot smaller. Um, similar sort of features, but they tend to come in like the gingery browny colours. And again, that one's got a little bobble hat on and a scarf. Oh, really sweet. And then... <laughs> one <laughs> so we've got a chimney with uh, santa stuck he's obviously tried going down the chimney head first and he's got stuck <laughs> oh that's brilliant i love that one they've certainly got some good humor in these i do like these and then that one just looks like really um an actual christmas dessert like a lollipop um yeah with uh, icing on it or white uh, ice cream so it's a red lolly or a red ice cream with white ice cream on it oh that'd be nice and then a little bit of holly take the holly off first though because it might not be edible <laughs> so how cute are these so we've got the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so yep yeah, you can use them as christmas decorations or actually they would be quite nice um as like tags on your gifts you could just put a little label on the back with somebody's name on um or just a little piece of paper extra you know just um write on it somewhere or you could even thread them up as like uh, bunting a similar size sort of bunting style um and hang them because that's quite quite a long piece of uh, thread there so yeah i would think you could hang them and just have them all hang in there just a bit of humor i think that's brilliant i don't know which one i like best i love the penguin i think he's super with his little earmuff penguin with earmuffs on that's excellent but uh, i think santa down the chimney <laughs> stuck in the chimney is giving me the biggest laugh Oh, that's superb. Love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, and the price of these were $5.39. So, yeah, you're looking at around about sort of 50, 60 cents um, per item. So the greater say, you, could, you can pay that for gift tags anyway if you buy the special ones. And these will all be diamond painted. And hopefully the person um, will then take them and put them on the tree if you've put them on a parcel rather than uh, just throwing them away like you do with the card ones so yeah oh they're super i love those right let's have a quick look at the drawers see what we've got don't want to come out okay wow lots of colors goodness me how many would we go up to 16 different colors wow Oh, 17. We've got an extra. Okay. So we have gorgeous clear silver and a lovely Christmas red and a little bit of pale pink. And we've got a hot pink. Yay. We've got to have hot pink in a Liz unboxing. It's just a bust. We've got a little bit of gold and a pale green and a blue, sort of a sea blue and a little bit paler blue. And then like, oh, what's that? Like a sagey browny green, I think. And a little bit of like goldy brown. And a deeper brown there. And your standard black there. A ah, nice Christmassy green. A very, very like champagne-y gold. Uh, some slightly larger black gems there. And then some, oh, they're pretty. They're like a uh, very pointed, um, like a pearl but with a point on them, like a star on them. Ooh, very pretty those. Okay, I think you can just about see that. Okay, and then finally, just some little teardrops in like a very pale lemony greeny colour. Okay, so lots in there. Very good value of these. So the very, I like the fact that you could do these um, if you were, say, doing... Uh, if you were doing, say, a Christmas fair or something like that to raise funds for your school or brownies or whatever. Uh, yeah, they're uh, inexpensive to buy. Um, the children could make them and then sell them. Okay, and put the little cord back in there as well so we know that that one belongs in there. 
Okay, so that's our first item. Wonderful. And oh, packets. We like packets. Wonder what's in the packet. Oh, I've just seen what's in the packet. I've just seen the picture of it. <laughs> I got a sneak peek. Okay. And it's Christmas again. Oh, 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 we've got some bells. Do they ring? Do they ring? Let me get these out first. Okay, that's everything out of the bag. Right, so we've got a basic toolkit, pen, boat and wax. We've got, oh, not many colours. Uh, what have we got? Five different colours there. Okay, we've got some little bells. Oh, and they do ring. They'll ring better if um, they're on the string. So, oh, we've got a long bit of string and a few shorter bits. So I would think we've got a few. So we've got two long bits and oops. We've got one. That's a short bit one. Two, three, four of the shorter bits. So let's just as you can see it's a little house snowman. So oop <laughs> Oh, my eyesight's wonderful. I've just completely missed the hole on that one. Maybe trying to thread a red thread through on a red belt it wasn't the best one to pick up. So, yeah, they will just hang from the bottom of this. Oops. Oh, he's got a little bit of extra um, plastic there. Let me just get rid of that. So, yeah, so your bells, you've got three bells, your red, your green and your gold. So typical uh, Christmas colours, particularly for makers, I love Christmas colours. And then they'll just hang at the bottom. And this is double sided, which I didn't expect. Oh, I've got an extra bit of plastic there as well where he's being cut out. OK, so, yeah, it's a little house, so he'll hang up. And he's got a very happy little snowman inside. I didn't expect this to be double sided. The price of him was at four dollars and ninety one cents. So ugh, I just can't believe that price for something that is double sided. That's wonderful. Yay! So you can have him hanging, and he'll have his little bells coming from the bottom. So thread those through. I do like this nice. Um, red thread as well. It's nice and thin, so it's easy to work with. So you can just tie it through the bottom there. And uh, yeah, it's going to hang and it's going to ring his bells. <laughs> okay. Oh, stop playing with the bells, Liz. Uh, yeah. I'm just so excited for Christmas that I'm uh, wanting to get them all done now. <laughs> Okay, so I love that. Uh, let's give it a quick measure. Where's my tape measure? So, yeah, they're only a small one. There was quite a few different ones of these as well, but I just like the little snowman in his little house. So they're at 11 centimetres, which is just under four and a half inches wide by uh, just under 15 centimetres, which is just under six inches, five and three quarter inches long. But yeah, I think... Gosh, for the price, that's amazing. Wow, okay. And uh, yeah, we've got a little snowflake there, the little windows in the attic there. We've got two trees and a little parcel at the bottom. And he's like, yay, it's Christmas, yay. <laughs> oh, he's really sweet. I love his big smile as well. So he's just say five gems. We've got your green your gold, your black with your silver backing, a lovely bright cherry Christmassy red and a lovely silvery colour. So that's a nice quick little project to do. Oh wow, I can't get over the price of that. I really wasn't expecting it to be like the uh, acrylic. I mean that's going to be what about just between half and uh, a quarter centimetre wide there. Look it's quite a thick acrylic uh yeah it's quite a good one and uh, yeah all the thread and the three little bells as well that do actually ring <laughs> oh that's marvelous i love it okay let me pop him i'll pop all the bits back in the packet otherwise don't want to lose them it looks like we've got plenty of extra thread as well 
which is really good. Okay, pop that back in there. Pop those back in there and pop the bells in as well. We don't want to lose the bells. And he will be done in the next couple of days because he's going to be a quick little project to do in between all my others. Right, I'll leave that one till last because I don't think that one is Christmas. So let's have a look at this one. Okay. Right, let me see, let me see. So I don't think I've got the price of this one. I'll have to look it up. Um, I've missed it off my list. <laughs> but look, it's Tower Bridge in London. Oh, wow. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, this is gorgeous. Uh, it is smashing the specials in January with uh, Mindy and Angie again. So if you uh, were with me, I think it was August, we did the uh, smashing the specials. Well, I took part in smashing the specials because I love it. It's usually in February, but they're doing it in January this year. I think it's so that we've got plenty of sparkle to carry on Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about you, but we've got so many Christmas decorations up around our street at the moment. Honestly, it's just wonderful. I love it. I just You go out in the dark and it's just lit up. Wonderful. All right, so we've got pen, butt and wax. Very nice. Thank you very much. And yeah, we've got the uh, London Tower Bridge going over the Thames. And we've got the uh, Houses of Parliament, the Houses of Westminster in the background. Uh, Westminster Abbey will be up here somewhere, I think. And that is the Queen Elizabeth Tower with the Big Ben bell in the top of it there. We've got a couple of the iconic um, street lamps that all go along the side of the Thames. And then, yeah, Tower Bridge going across the Thames. This is really pretty. I love the colour palette on this. Uh, yeah, my brother lives uh, around the London area, so we do go to London fairly regularly. Um, obviously not in the last couple of years, but with uh, other things going on and hubby's illness as well. But yeah, we uh, do like going to London and I've walked across that bridge several times. Um, I've never been up the top. You can, I think they do do tours or... I think these are like um, conference centres that you can hire at the top. Um, but I think they do do trips to go across the bridge as well. But I have walked across here um, and we do have the Tower of London. I don't think Big Ben and that are quite that close. It's more the Tower of London that's near uh, Tower Bridge. But uh, yeah, at night time, well, it's at dusk, isn't it? It's uh, The lights are just coming on. And we've got all the reflections of the lights in the water, all sparkling away. And then we've just sort of framed it with this little tree in this corner. Wow. Oh, that's super. I love that. Really do love that one. Ooh, and I can see some AB gems as well. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay. Ooh, lots of sparkle. So it has... Uh, 10 different gems and colours. Okay. So we start off with a lovely clear crystal. And then we have like a creamy colour. And it has got uh, an AB coating that's uh, like an iridescent coating. Just to make them sparkle a little bit more. So where does that colour go then? Number two. Number two is... Oh, it's number two. <laughs> I'm looking for symbols, but it is number two. So we've got it around here and around here. Oh, right, all around this tower. So it's like this is more in shade. So the, the this one is quite a bit uh, sparkle there. And then we have that one to go with it as well. That's quite a creamy colour. And then just your standard black, always useful. And then like a bronzy colour and a very pale lilac purpley colour. Oh, a lovely deep blue there. And that's a very deep green. That'll be your tree, I think, up in this corner here. And then we have some larger black. Some lovely large uh, gold, half-sweet gold with no facets on. And then some little marquees, again, with the iridescent coating on. So, oh, wow, that's going to be really nice to do. So... 
that's number nine so number nine then is going to be all the gold little uh, circles so it's going to be all the lights reflecting in the water oh this is going to be really interesting to see how this turns out but yeah that'd be quite nice to put on the wall after christmas once i've got um a lot of my paintings down everything well it does look bare doesn't it when you take everything down after christmas um, i know sometimes i think oh thank goodness it's all gone but uh yeah the house and the rooms just look really really empty and bare don't they afterwards so if I put something like this up, we'll still have a little bit of a ling up after Christmas. Yay! <laughs> okay, I'll get it done for New Year because then we'll have Big Ben chiming uh, midnight on New Year to see in the New Year. Goodness me, is it bad thinking about to come round too quickly? Okay, uh, it's 30 by 40, so it will probably be 25 by 35, but we'll just double check. Yep, 35 centimetres of 13 and three quarter inches by uh, 25 centimetres and nine and three quarter inches. So, yeah, it's your standard size, so it'll go nicely if you've got your magnetic frames. I know I keep banging on about mag magnetic frames, but I do use them a lot and I do uh, have a lot of them. I find it so much easier as once I've got the frame on the wall then I can just swap the paintings out uh, for whatever I want them to be so yeah like that one okay so I'll let you know the price of that one there uh, when I've uh, double checked it on the website right and then finally not Christmas but I'm afraid it is still sparkly and special drill okay A very pretty this one and it just caught my eye and I thought I'm going to have to have that one and I've got just the space that I want it to go in give it a bit of a flatten uh, pen butt and wax your standard toolkit there and oh lots of nice sparkly gems look at all those colours Ooh, lots of colours in that one okay and it is two fish and I just thought, oh, I just loved the colours, loved the picture. Let's just give it a bit of a squidge backwards and see if it will flatten it down a bit. Okay. We just flatten the plastic uh, on the front, the cover sheet on the front of your paintings. You'll find it just helps to uh, flatten your paintings down a little bit as well. Okay. So... Oops, didn't do that very well, but look at the colours on this. It's actually a 38 by 60 centimetre. So we've got the one fish, try and get it without the glare there. Um, I don't know whether they're koi or not because they've got very long tails. I don't know whether these have different names or not, but I just thought they were so pretty and the colours just really appealed to me. So, yeah, these are great for if you've got, say, two doorways and you've just got that little space in between and it can just fit in there and just give uh, a little bit of extra interest between two doors. Or if you've got like a, a corner that turns or something and you just want to be able to put a little bit of colour in that corner. So, yeah, but look at those colours. Oh, we're going to have lots of teardrops, it looks like. Look, these are all teardrop shapes for the scales on the fish. Wow, and then it's got like all um, strands coming out. I don't know whether these are on the fish. It looks like they are, but it's maybe giving the light effect as the fish are swimming through the water as well. I just thought that was super. Just love the colours. The tails, the colours in the tails go into like the pinks and the blues. Wow, and the orange from the fish and all its fins. Oh, that's wonderful. Just give that a quick measure. So I think it'll be, again, the sort of five centimetres ish short at each end. But so, yeah, it's 55 centimetres that way, which is 21 and a half inches. And then width wise, we are at 25 centimetres, nine and three quarter inches. So, yeah, again, it's something that I think I would probably put on mount board because I. I would suspect that getting a frame would either be quite expensive um, 
or quite are and are quite difficult to get but yeah just leave that i'll leave it that way around so you can see it I mean, it's, well no i suppose you do need it lengthways as so you could put it the other way but no because then one fish is sort of going like that and one's going like that you'd need it the proper way around wouldn't you <laughs> sorry that's just my brain spilling out of my mouth again <laughs> Okay, let's have a quick look at these. Right, ooh, look at all these colours. So it's actually only got 12 different gems and colours. But it looks like it's a lot more, so obviously as the colours go on, it's going to really make them show differently and pop. So I've got a lovely aqua blue there, look at that. And a gorgeous red. Is that two the same? Yep. So it looks like the main colour um, of these edges then are going to be red. So they're going to be sort of framed in red. Ooh. I'm going to go and uh, sort of look. Mm, sea blue. Yeah. And a little bit of orange there, a palish orange. A very clear crystal. And... We have a lovely tree green and then we are on to hot pink. So are they all the same? Is that number 888? Yeah, three bags of hot pink. Wow, this is definitely my picture, isn't it? <laughs> and a little bit paler blue and then a deeper blue. That's pretty. And then these are going to be all the fish scales look lots of little marquees in like an orangey red colour and then some rounds they're just half spheres with no facets on uh, in red there as well so they'll all be the dots going around the fish wow oh that is stunning so yeah this will be added to my list of ones that are going to be done Grills it away there. Right, so we've had quite a mixture today. Then we've got some koi fish there. I think, well, I don't know whether the koi is or not. You'll have to let me know. Uh, pop it in the comments down below what you think. We've got a London scene with Tower Bridge. We've got our fab little snowman with his bells. And then we've got all these gorgeous little decorations, key rings, uh, little characters. That are, oh, that's, that's, yeah, I think Snowman going, uh, sorry, Santa going down the chimney is my favourite. I think he's got his belt buckle stuck, look. <laughs> okay, well, a huge thank you to dpclubs.com for sending these to me. Uh, do go and check them out and have a look. As I say, there's lots of special offers on at the minute. Um, I'll try and put some screenshots in as well of some of the offers that were on. Obviously, when I'm making the video, um, you will need to check out what offers are available uh, for your country and to what's uh, happening when you actually watch the video and go and have a look at the website. But yeah, they're marvellous. What a great really? little haul I've got for these. Oh, don't know what I like best. I think I'm just going to have to stick the key rings, just make me laugh the most. Uh, the price of the koi fish um, they've actually called it koi fish is seven dollars and 79 cents which i think for all those crystal gems and the size of that painting again is a really good price but that is amazing at four dollars and 31 cents for a double-sided little christmas decoration okay as i say well huge thank you to dp clubs thank you for you to uh, watching uh, if you've enjoyed looking at these with me then as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated any comments or questions, I'll leave them in the comments down below. And if you do want to come back and join our little family and see what I get up to next, then do that by pressing this subscribe button in the corner and then an all notifications bell will pop up. Not one of these little bells. <laughs> it's just a little bell. And all that means is you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thank you ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.